Hello lovelies, um, I hope that the last two terms of year 13, last two terms of school, are something that you are looking forward to in a really, really positive manner and that you're not yet horrifically stressed uh, for your exams, which I'm fairly sure are going to happen, um, that are coming up. Um, and if it's slight off chance that you're a little bit bored, because we've had a fairly long holiday in this second week and all the excitement was last week and this week can always be a little bit of a letdown. Um, this is what we should be doing. So first of all, I am now on TikTok with revision tips and the organic chemistry all over the place so if you want a little bit of a uh, reaction mechanisms revision for maths science biology general revision tips interrupting all of the dancing on tiktok then come and find me but we are planning for exams to happen that is the best case scenario um because all of the mocks that you've had and will have probably two more mocks one in spring term one in the summer term um, are really stressful because it's repeated high stakes revision and then there's going to be a high stakes exam and honestly that's not the best situation for you guys what I would want for you at the moment is for you to be doing what I would call low stakes revisions so kind of like multiple choice questions and then worked examples at the end lots of kind of like short punchy low stakes revision where it doesn't really matter if you get it wrong and then we can build up build up build up over the course of the five, six months that we've got left. So we can start then moving on to doing full exam papers. Um, but the government has said that you've got to jump straight into doing full exam papers under pretty much exam conditions and there's a chance that they may count, which is horrifically stressful. So the most important thing that you need to focus on is reducing the stress in your life at the moment. So there are lots of different ways that we can do this. So we need to think about how you're revising, when you're revising and the different techniques we can use for revising. So the first thing I want you to do is to actually plan your week out. Now I know lots of you are going to say oh I don't like planning, I like being spontaneous, I like being in the mood to do this sort of thing and that's fine but we need to make sure that we're not neglecting one subject just because it's your least favourite subject because at A level we don't really have the option to not buy into a subject because you've only got two, three, four subjects to actually do and all of them are going to count for next year. So we have to make sure that we're giving an equal weighting to all of your subjects. Maybe a little bit more to the one that you're weaker in. Yep, I know, I'm sorry. Um, but we do need to take time and plan, make sure that we are having an equal weighting for all of our subjects. And the problem with not planning and doing things spontaneously is you'll just do the most urgent tasks. So whatever homework you've got due in, um, or you'll do your favourite subject, and then not actually do any revision of year 12 content maybe for your least favourite subject. But it is important. And you do need to be revising year 12 content every single year no matter what subject no matter what exam the examiner's um report at the end says year 12 content was not known thoroughly enough because everyone assumes it's easy it was last year um and nobody revises it enough so every time you do kind of like a little bit of homework for chemistry what i'm wanting to do is to marry that up with 15 minutes of revision from year 12 chemistry it doesn't matter what subject it is, you know, write an essay for year 13 history, do 15 minutes revision of year 12 history, really low stakes retrieval revision, so retrieval questions, multiple choice questions, really short things, so who did what, when, why, I'm not asking you to go away and write loads and loads of essays on stuff, just, just getting the knowledge securely in your head, and flashcards are a brilliant way to do this, I've started making loads of flashcards, up over on Quizlet and all of the classes that I've made on Quizlet are 
open to everyone to join so you can just join all of those and then um it should the way that i understand it be kind of like an ad free experience for you so you don't have to worry about things interrupting you and i will do a few um quizlet lives to help you revise lots of different things as we are coming up to the exams um, and for that you need to be part of the class so um there's lots of things that you can do to not get too stressed so revising year 12 content using flashcards using retrieval questions planning timetables making sure you are actually getting time in there to do things that are important because there is going to be pressure for you to give up things extracurricular activities or dial down the amount of time you spend doing other things to spend more time studying and that's not necessarily very helpful at the moment because you do need to do things that aren't studying um one of my absolute favorite films and this is gonna sound weird is a hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy not because i love the film but because of the circumstances that i saw it in so it came out while i was at university during exam time for university and like the house was silent and everyone in my house was just in that bedroom studying not going out and studying and then one night someone was kind of like we need to get out of the house so we went to the cinema we saw Hitchcock Skater Galaxy and then we came back and did more studying but it was just that absolute relief of doing something that wasn't studying giving my brain a break doing something enjoyable with friends going to cinema going out um and then Maybe when I went back to it, yes, okay, it was 11 o'clock at night by that point, um, I was actually able to do some good studying back then. Um, so having a break is important. Having a break will make you revise and study better. Um, obviously, I'm not talking about having like two weeks break and half an hour revision. That's not, not going to work. Um, but fitting in sensible breaks where you get up from your desk and go and do something else like a break is not sitting at your desk on tiktok that's not a break from revision go and do something um so it does look like exams are going to happen um i don't want you to stress too much about this we are going to be doing a lot of work together and we're going to get through this you and me together ouch This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs> 